Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. This video is sponsored by Wahid Invest. It is for those looking for investments in line with Islamic principles. They're official, legit and worth looking into. Do educate yourselves to the pros and cons of investing. Link in the bio. Today, while I was browsing through my Twitter feed, I saw a video posted by Russia Today of a hijabi that is crossing the railway tracks and then decides to come back and she, I would say, is millimeters away from getting smashed by that train but Alhamdulillah she barely, barely escapes. And I thought this was one of those old videos that they've reposted. After doing a bit of research apparently this happened a week odd ago in Netherlands. Again, this week. Uh, it's popped up in my, in my blah, 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 blah. you see you see how shocked and surprised I am that the words aren't coming out so here's another footage where a car goes through two lanes of traffic unscathed I know what some of you will be thinking oh he or she is so lucky man what are the chances but as a Muslim we say it was written for her and it was written for him. While some people they make chance and luck their God to such a degree that they attribute the beginnings of the universe and everything inside the universe to chance. But what is chance? Can you put it under a microscope? Can you tell me what it looks like? You can't test chance within the scientific method. And the way they talk about chance is as if it's God, yeah, giving it agency, giving it will. Yes, it's chance, random mutation, and that creates this and it does that, and eventually we're here. Hang on just a minute, right here, mate. If you do a DNA test, yeah, and it 80% matches John and 20% matches Dave, I mean, what are the people going to say that are conducting the tests? You know what, it, it could be Dave, so we're gonna go with that. No, you go with the highest probability. And when we're uh, debating the you know, presence of God, if God exists or not, I mean, some of the absurd, absurd arguments that get put forward, it's ridiculous just to deny God. Looking around you, everything around you is created. Why can't you also conclude that we're created as well? But for those Muslims watching, what do we learn from this? Yeah, we learn that if it's your time to go, then it's your time to go. Yes, it might be cancer that Allah uses as a means, it might be getting run over, it might even be, I don't know, you passing away in your sleep. All of these are means Allah uses to take us away, but our life is written. Yeah, our life and death is written. That's right. And my follow up to that is the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He can do such feats as this, then can't He get you married? Can't he cure you? Can't he help you pass your exam? Of course he can. Then I'm making du'as and why isn't it happening? Because either number one, it's not written for you. Yeah, it's not good for you. And you wanting what's not good for you is ultimately going to end up being bad for you. So you not getting it, Allah has the picture. We have the pixel. So guys, something definitely to consider when things happen. We sometimes take agency away from Allah. Yeah, and we're so used to being in control. Yeah, I'm going to order this. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to make sure that happens. It's me, 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 me. Yeah, but when we understand that the ultimate agency is with Allah. Yes, of course, tie your camel and then make dua. Yes, this is a dunya. This is a world of means. And you have to do what is in your power. Do your best. Allah will do the rest, of course. But make sure we have this distinction, yeah, that we do whatever is in our power. But once it's outside your power, like get your mom to the hospital, yeah, call the ambulance, get a cab, whatever, get her to the hospital on time. You do what you can. But once she goes into the operation theater, dua, 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 that's outside of your control. And what happens? Of course, yeah, if it's bad, then it affects you and your human being, it will affect you. But realize it was meant to be and that is why you got newspapers even like Daily Mail saying that the Muslims yes the practicing Muslims are the happiest yeah there you go the happiest yeah so guys I wanted to post this as a short reminder because sometimes 
we need a reminder yeah like as the quran says a reminder is beneficial for the believers and you know it's good sometimes to reflect about death because we're so used to living and none of us die <laughs> yeah if we die then i mean you just I, I don't know what's going on all the laws of nature have been suspended for you i guess it actually motivates us to live properly yeah knowing something is limited makes you value it more because you know you're not going to have it past a certain period so may allah give us the ability to turn back to him worship him obey him know him and help other people also know him love him and understand him and worship him too until next time assalamu alaikum